Welcome. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a sculpture base. I'm going to make a sculpture base similar to this one. It's cardboard on the inside, and we're going to use it with um, our Giacometti sculpture. It could be used for any kind of sculpture, and in one of our first grade lessons, we made one that was very similar, but we did it with paper. What you're going to need is a scissors, a pencil, and a ruler. Now, to get started, take your pencil and write your name on the back of your cardboard. Okay, and I'm going to write Mr. Lundgren, since that's my name. Write it nicely and neatly, and then write your teacher name so I know which section you are in. And if I tilt that in the light, you can see it a little better there. All right, now flip your cardboard over, and you're going to use your ruler. Now, normally we would think of using a ruler by measuring with the inches or the centimeters, but we're just going to use our ruler kind of as a placing guide. You're going to line up the edge of your ruler with the edge of your cardboard, hold it down, and trace along the other edge of your ruler. Okay, and you can see that line there. You're going to follow that same procedure on each side, line up the edge of your ruler with the edge of your cardboard, and trace along the lines. Now, why would we do this? The reason we're going to do this is so that all of the sides of your cardboard are the same height. Okay, because the ruler is going to stay consistent. And then if we do it like that, this thickness and this thickness are the same, so that when we fold it down, this edge of our box or our um, sculpture base and this edge of our sculpture base will be exactly the same. And therefore, you'll have an equal sculpture base that will stand nicely. Now that you've got that done, double check that you have those, those lines in. Then you're going to open up your scissors and you're going to use the very inside corner of your scissors to score through your cardboard. Now, cardboard looks like this. It has a top layer, a bottom layer. Sorry, I'll write it down here. The top layer and the bottom layer. Okay, and in between it has the little wiggly cardboard piece that makes it cardboard. Okay, now that wiggly piece that makes it cardboard is going to keep our cardboard strong, but we want to cut out a little bit of it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to score through or cut away that little piece of it here. Okay, and that's going to allow us to bend it. So you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to use the point and poke through the cardboard and draw right along the edge of that line that we already drew. And if you bend it, you'll see that it will bend along that. That's called scoring. You're going to do this on the other three lines and start at the edge because we want it to go from the edge all the way down the cardboard like that. And you want to do your scoring on each of your pencil lines that we just drew. like that. Now you'll see that those pieces of cardboard will fold down. Now, with those lines all folding, we want to remove only the top portion of the cardboard. So if we look back at our diagram here, we want to remove that piece of our cardboard so that we have the bottom layer or the back side of the cardboard intact to tape together later. So what you're going to do is you're going to again take your scissors and you're going to just stick it. You can see the little wiggles right here on my cardboard. You're just going to stick it inside one of those wiggles and you're just going to pull it off and leave that back piece of um, cardboard intact. Okay, I'm going to do that on all four sides here or on all four of my little squares. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now that I've got those little four squares taken out, we're going to tape our cardboard together. Now, if you notice, this square is still here. If we take it and fold it along a diagonal line right there, and all you have to do is push this side in and then push the other two edges together like that, that will form a nice solid corner and give us a little edge here to tape on. You're going to need one piece of tape, and you can just take that one piece of tape, a nice long piece, and cut it into four sections. 
So I'm going to actually take my one piece of tape and cut it one section. And you just need four little pieces of tape, two, three, and four. Okay, so there's my pieces of tape. I'm just going to fold this in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of tape and bring it from the outside edge over the top and fold it inside along that extra little piece of paper that you have on the inside like that. Do that on all three remaining corners. So you've got four corners by the end. And all you have to do is kind of scrunch those together. It shouldn't be too hard. It's just paper. Okay. And make them look nice and neat. And these two you might have to do kind of at the same time as you fold it down. Um, and that will help it be even. And then I'll take my last piece and put it over the top. And this will complete the sculpture base for any sculpture project we might do. Um, but this one being our Giacometti sculpture, um, we're going to use that for our Giacometti um, base. So that concludes how to make the sculpture base for a sculpture project.